this poor lion was howling in pain, or roaring as pain, I guess, as lions do. And there was a gentleman by the name of Androcles. Androcles saw that the, the lion's paw was out and sore, and he got up to the lion that was completely in pain and, and pulled out the thorn, wrapped it up, and healed the lion. Well, it says that the lion was so happy that he licked Androcles like a dog that licks a person. And I think about that. I think about the burden of having pain in our lives. So much pain that many of us might roar, that we may uh, show how angry and hurt we are through our actions. But Jesus comes to us and removes that thorn. That thorn, I, I like to imagine, is that of the way that we miss the mark or, or sin. That Jesus removes that from our lives. That removes the hurt and the sadness and the shame that many of us have experienced over our lifetimes. Jesus comes to us in wisdom. Wisdom knowing exactly what to do. That we're presented with a yoke in this life. But Jesus makes it easy. Easy to take the gospel and bring it with us to change lives. Now, let me say when I say easy, I'm not saying it's easy as in kicking a ball or, or um, I think it's more easy like uh, we've got to uh, train and listen and work towards the ends of justice and peace and love in our world. That when we work together in this new understanding of what our mission is as children of God, we find that the weariness of this world is dissolved. Those thorns that keep us up at night those past hurts, past hurts from failed relationships, past hurts from work not going so well in the day, past hurts that only we know, those hurts that we don't share with our families or friends, the ones that we keep bottled up. Jesus knows. So my hope is for you that the thorns of this life will be removed. That when you hear Jesus playing a song of hope and redemption and grace, that you will dance. That you will dance for the love of God. Because the love of God is here for you and me. Changing who we are at the very core of our nature. Jesus nurtures us in the way of God. And in so doing, we are to be agents of God. Bringing about the blessed love of God through the wisdom of Jesus and the hope that we find in the Spirit. Amen.